Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. The newly released South is considered to be more than just a direction. Some say it's the climate, others say it's the landscape, the food, or its state of mind. But most agree it's simply the people. Joining us now, author Wendy Nielsen Pulitzer and award-winning publisher Lydia Inglet to prove that Southerners are just natural born narrators. <laughs> welcome to the show. Thanks, Thanks. Sandy. Thank so I, of course, stole that, you know, that, that little <laughs> excerpt from the, uh, the website but it's true. I mean, um, it's wonderful that you're telling a story about the South and you have a collaboration of so many amazing people and the pictures are fabulous. So what was the impetus behind the South? Behind South, I should say. Well, it's uh, Wendy and I met on a, you know, a remote island <laughs> in <laughs> South <Husky>. Carolina <laughs> about 18 months ago. Mm -hmm. And we, I think we each knew of each other. Mm -hmm. And I knew she was a writer. She knew I was a book publisher. And we began to talk about South and, you know, putting something together to really articulate what is the love affair that people seem to have with the South and what, is, what are the feelings and the images and words that surround that? So I'll let you take it from I, I feel like it was so special that we met on Defusky. It's such a yeah. simple yet beautiful, oh, yeah. Yeah. A picturesque with so much island cultures. with so much culture. Where our, the history right. yeah. started down here. Yeah. It's just yeah. descriptive of what we wanted to do with mm -hmm. this book and, and that's explain what's important about living here and what we, what we all love about it. Yeah. So tell us about the folks you met along the way. I met a lot of yeah. very <laughs> interesting people. You did. We you um, really did. We wanted to get a diverse collection of stories. Um, professionally diverse, uh, culturally diverse, um, artistically diverse. Artistically diverse. I mean you really, we, you've covered, you, I mean I was amazed by the collaboration of people yes. that were part of this book. Pat yes. Conroy is in it, yes. Naomi Judd, um, Andy, Andy McDowell, McDowell. Yes. Um, James Carville. Uh, Brian Batt from Mad Men. He plays Sal on Mad Men, one of our favorites, because he moved back to New Orleans from L.A. and, um, ha in fact, has a store there and just, um, you know, kind of commutes to work, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. So. Well, and, and I know in the book, you know, you have little excerpts from these people and what's special to them and what, what the South means to them. Mm -hmm. And so what are people saying about the book now that it's out and they've been able to purchase it? They're very pleased, <laughs> very yeah. pleased. Um, a lot of gift giving with this book because what it is is it's not only a beautiful coffee table edition, it's right. a conversation yes, starter. Yes. Yeah. People are, are reading the stories, looking at the photos and saying, I'm from there, yeah. you know, I've been there, I want to go yeah. there. I yeah. love that place, yeah. and it, um, it gives, they're personal. They can re yeah, they can relate to it. They've seen it or they've touched it or they know that that's where they want to be. Right. Right. Yes, and it, it's a really wonderful combination of words and images because people can sit down and read one of the 50 essays, look at some photos, and get up. Yeah. Or they can sit there for two hours. It and doesn't just, matter, but it just, just is really... Through it. We wanted to do it so that it, it felt good, it looks good, it just is a really nice book that you want to treasure. Oh and yeah, it is. So it is. It is fabulous. We're really pleased with that came out. So are you participating, in, participating in, in any holiday events, Wendy? Yes, um, we're doing several events across the region. Okay. I just got back from Kentucky last night, actually. In the snow. In the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But um, we are doing many in the, the Charleston area and the Mount Pleasant area, which is where I'm from. And in addition to here, we're doing the Sea Pines Mistletoe Market oh, um, Saturday the 22nd, 12 yeah. to 4, and then the, the Farmer's Market on the 25th at Sea Pines, um, the, their uh, regular Tuesday farmer's market, and then and, and many more. So tell us about your corporate gift program. Well, we have a corporate gift giving program that's called Ex Libris, and it is a customized book plate that goes in the front of the book with oh, the, very nice. the company's message yeah. and their logo, and then those are gift wrapped and sent out. And you know, you may not know if someone enjoys uh, certain uh, food stuffs or something like right. that, but it's always good to give a book. Oh, and yeah. a, every time they a nice, I think see the book the on the coffee gifts. table, mm -hmm. they'll remember you. And yeah. so we think this is a really quality uh, corporate gift. So, mm -hmm. um, and quickly, where can we? Where can the book be purchased? They're on the island. They're at um, Pyramids. They're mm -hmm. at La Cookery, mm -hmm. um, top of the lighthouse. They're at Coastal Discovery mm -hmm. Museum at Honeyhorn and. Um, and and we're, we're getting in the mountain to, to more re retail locations. Yes, yeah, so the book's only been out about four, 
five four weeks. weeks. Five Congratulations weeks. to both of you, and thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. Thanks for having us. Thank Sandy. you, Sandy. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.